Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV, and we're today we're bringing to you a continuation of our series. Now, for those of you who are watching this video for the first time and haven't seen one of our other videos, what we're doing is we're actually doing an experiment of driving different coaches, both gas and diesels, to get a sense of how loud they are, what noises they make. Now, for those of you who are tuning in the first time, there are many factors that are involved, and that's going to be from construction of the coach, the engineering, um, the, where the chassis sit, or the coach sits on the chassis, I should say. Does it sit down and you only have baggage compartments versus pass-through compartments that raise it? How thick is the floor? How well made are cabinets? So we're, we're trying a few different coaches. Now, Bella Vista RV has been kind enough to lend us this coach. We are currently sitting in a Georgetown GT5. This is a 2020 model, and it is powered by the Ford V10 engine. So there is a V8 engine out now, currently, that Ford is offering. But we're going to use the traditional V10 here because it's been the most popular and has been out on the marketplace for 20 years. Now, if any of our viewers have a coach that they'd like me to do this experiment with just out of their own interest, please let me know in the comments below and I'll reach out and we'll arrange uh, doing a test drive when the weather's good. Now, this coach is a GT5, so it's the mid-range for the Georgetown family, approximately 38 feet long, and we're going to take it for a nice little ride. Now, when we started up the video, we were reading approximately 68, 69 decibels just at idle, and we'll take some readings as we go along, and we're going to use the exact same road for all of these videos so that you're getting the exact same scenario, noise, bumps, speed bumps, etc. So having said that, I'm going to reset the monitor and then we're our decibel meter and we're going to take a run. We have some speed bumps we're going to come up to here. And there's another set down here. And our second camera has been positioned on our decibel meter so that you can actually see it during the drive. And I'll post it in a smaller screen so you'll be able to see it as we're driving. Now, just a quick note while you're watching the video, I apologize, but I'm not apologizing. There's going to be times where I'm going to be quiet because I want you to just hear the road noise. One of the biggest questions I get asked about coaches and how noisy they are, especially gas versus diesel. Uh, also, another note, you'll notice the decibel meter is sitting on an app on a phone and it's sitting on the dash. Now, it has been secured, so please do not drive down the road trying to do this with your phone just sitting there because it will fly off that dash. giving it 
pretty much about full throttle so that you could really hear the acceleration noise. And we have ramped up to about 80 decibels there, between 77 to 80. So now we'll travel at highway speed here, and this speed is 90 kilometers an hour. going to be approximately 37 miles per hour for our American cousins and this will simulate back road driving scenic driving. our decibel meter you'll notice it's actually right around that 70 75 mark on the, the back roads
trying to do here for everyone is you know, I'm not taking off really slow and trying to keep noise quiet. I'm actually probably accelerating a little bit quicker than normally what you would do and getting up to speed just to give you more of an idea. Now one thing we're not doing is we're not climbing hills because people will say, oh my goodness, if you climb hills, the gas is so noisy. Part of that is your style of driving. If you're going to get into the throttle and, you know, have to do 60, 70 miles an hour up a hill, it's going to be noisy. You're going to be running third gear, fourth gear, really high RPMs. I find it's better let it drop a few gears, lose a bit of speed because you're going to pick up that speed on the downside of the mountain or the hill anyways. Yes, it's okay to laugh at me holding this GoPro. I, I can imagine it must look fairly funny, but that's sometimes what happens when you're taping and you don't and you don't want to go back and you know re-edit and redo it and make it look super polished. I like the videos to be real life and true to life and doing something a little bit different. Plus, we were just around the corner here, as you'll notice. We're almost right back to where we started. We're going to go past a couple of speed bumps in a moment, so you'll be able to see the noise. And you'll notice the decibel meter is pretty good, because as I speak at times, you'll notice it peak a little bit more. Here we are back again sitting at idle. So as a quick recap, on the low side we were as low as 59 decibels. On the high side we reached a maximum of 93 and for the entire trip we've averaged 75. Now most of the time we were right around that average of 
75-ish based on the decibel meter and I think that's pretty respectful. This is a really nice coach, drives really well, uh, is going to be fairly quiet, quieter than a number of entry-level coaches I've driven. But as I mentioned, you know, if you happen to have a coach and you uh, are interested in lending it to me for a quick drive, we'll do a similar video and hopefully we can get uh, several brands. We are going to do this with another manufacturer as well and see how they rate overall. For viewing our video, I'd love to hear any comments and feedback uh, below. Uh, we are trying to increase our subscriber base, so we'd love to have you join the channel as a subscriber by hitting the subscribe button below. And while you do that, if you hit the little bell, that will notify you as we post new and interesting videos, both on motorhome test drives, automotive reviews, and just in general lifestyle products. Well, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thanks for viewing our video. Check back soon. You guys stay safe and then live life to the fullest.